Wow. Thank you. I never before have I thought I would have gone this far and this quickly. Um, wow, y'all have gotten me to this point and um, I'm truly grateful and this is why I wanted to do something like this for y'all. Um, thank you guys for getting me to this point. Like, tank is mad and I think I'm the, probably the only one in Barbados to get it done for gaming. So I feel extremely happy and excited for the future. And the next goal is to 50K and then the next goal is to 100K and then 500K and then 1 million. So, you know, I'm here to stay here. Um, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, this video is kind of a video for y'all. Y'all have been asking for a little bit more stuff about me and I figured I will answer a lot of that in this video. Um, you guys will get a little bit of more insight on who I am, what I do and you know, why, why did I start YouTube? Why did I start all of this? Why did I do all the stuff that I'm doing? So hopefully you guys enjoy. Shout out my boy Kobe for shooting this video for me. And um, yeah, so you guys can find his information down in the description down below. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave your comments down below as well. Okay, so first of all, my name is Chad. Um, and most many of you guys on YouTube would know me as Conservancy. I'm from a little Caribbean island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean called Barbados, 166 square miles. I went to um, St. Michael's school. That would have been my high school slash secondary school education. I did six years there where I went on to do six farm in my, um, my last two years. Um, I used to be the head boy there at that school. I also did um, the Barbados Cadet Corps. I was a cadet, which would have been like a military type of thing for young children um, and that's where I learned and gained a lot of leadership skills and a lot of interpersonal skills and talking to people etc. I currently go to the unit, um, University of the West Indies KFL campus doing a degree in management with a concentration on entrepreneurship. I hope someday to be my own uh, entrepreneur and my own boss etc. Um, I love to play games especially right now I'm doing a lot of 5M slash GTA 5 RP. Um, I, I tend to play Call of Duty from time to time with my friends and um, I am ready to expand to other stuff. That's just a little bit about me. I'm 22 years old. Uh, just a little bit more about me. If you guys have any other questions, you can leave them down in the comments or ask me on stream. I stream live every week, especially the weekends, Friday, Saturday. Um, so, what made me really start YouTube was um, about three or four years ago, I was going through a very hard time in my personal life between depression and, and having to find my purpose and find things to do. Um, I, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I stumbled across this video by a YouTuber called Neptune. Um, and it really changed me and, one, and I wanted to get a bigger perspective. I wanted to, to, to take more control over my life and also inspire other persons to take control of your life. I wanted to record my journey in taking control of my life and leveling up myself as a man and as a person. So from that, I decided to um, start YouTube, start getting a little bit more of my message and my thoughts and stuff about um, all sorts of things out there. And then that brought into the gaming because I wanted to target young boys, young people from all walks of life into going after their goals and their dreams, understanding that the world is the way it is, getting them into reality and just focusing on themselves, focusing on their goals, focus on what they need to do. And that's what really started me in, um, inspired me to start YouTube and doing gaming, etc. Gaming more or less happened from watching Steve the Gamer and other YouTubers, especially like the Rad Brad and those guys all the time. Um, I've been doing YouTube for about two years and three or four months now. Um, I started in January of 2020. Um, I built my PC around December to the start of January 2020 and I've been doing YouTube ever since. I've been um, constantly on YouTube or constantly uploading for the last year and a half now, um, doing a variety of different stuff. So yeah, just about two, and a, two, two years, two uh, years and three months, somewhere around there. Um, currently, um, I would say Steve the Gamer is one YouTuber that have really inspired me. And as I mentioned before, it would have been Neptune who got me, kind of got me into YouTube and getting stuff, get, taking control of my life. 
but I wanted to be like some of the other guys I watch, um, like Steve the Gamer and the Rad Brad and these guys and Hollow. Hollow is another one, Hollow Point. He's another one that I watch all the time, watch almost all of his gameplays on certain games, etc. Et Especially like the Batman series and stuff like that. I really enjoyed uh, those, watching those guys play games. And um, yeah, those are the guys that really inspire me to start YouTube. And um, also watching guys like Steph is Cold and Austin Dunham and Fidesz Fearless. These guys um, kind of got me into educating younger men and younger boys in, in getting out, going after all their goals and their dreams because there's too much time where we see young boys and young, young people like me just go through the system either whether they be in jail or they have they get themselves in horrible situations because they don't know the factors and the real the realities of the world that we live in today well well the original reason i really started youtube was to inspire others and to record my journey into my self-improvement as i said before i started very very depressed and i started and i was going through this very hard time it was no fault of my parents or fault of anybody else i was just going through a very very tough time as an emotional young man and um over this time i learned how to how to control my emotions and i and i hope to unlock that final version of myself through this entire journey and through this this stuff that i've done but part of that for me is also inspiring other people to get to that point to inspire other um, young boys and young men to, to go out there and, and go after their goals and their dreams, no matter what it is, and, and not let anybody shame them. Obviously not to inspire them to sell drugs and do stuff like that, but inspire them to go and get that job, go out and um, get the money that they want to get, get the stuff that they want to get and, and have a purpose in life. And that's the main reason why I wanted to stop, start YouTube and continue and I want to see myself being that inspiration for a lot of young persons going out there into the, into the world. Um, um, yes, I've had a lot of times where I wanted to give up, a lot of stuff that didn't really go my way. Um, this, it really, it really got to a point where um, I really wanted to give up. There was a week that I just did not do anything. I was just, I was just so lazy to get up and go and record and do whatever I needed to do. And, um, but I have a good support system. I had my cousin over here who's helping me film this video, asking me these questions. I had him from time to time tell me, you know, keep going, you're making history, you're doing what you gotta do. And that, those sort of things really pushed me into, into continuing and not worrying about all of the different stuff that I have to do or if it's gonna work or if it's gonna pan out or anything like that. Well, when I first like started a couple of months ago, or I wouldn't say started, but a couple of months ago, I was getting a lot of hate, especially with the whole um, past community issues. And I did not handle those, those, those hateful comments well. I let them get to me. But I've grown to a point to, as, as I said before, control my emotions and control how I handle situations. And that has pushed me to the point where I do not even take on these comments anymore because I know a lot of persons are, they're jealous. They can't do what I am doing. Um, they want to be in a position that I am in or they just generally don't, don't like me. And I understand that a lot of people will not like me, but it's not about that. It's about the important things and that's, and, and that's reaching my goals, reaching the persons that I want to inspire. And those persons that, um, that sadly give me hate, I've gotten very familiar with bleat and the block button. So as soon as you guys want to show the hate and show and show thing, I understand constructive criticism, criticism, and I would do stuff like that, and I will un take on constructive criticism. But if you're just playing on hating, I'll just delete your comment or delete what you have to say, and that that'll be it. It doesn't affect me that much anymore. I'm grown to a point where I can control those sort of um, emotions and control my responses. I am. Um, a hundred percent an introvert um, before I used to I never really wanted to go out I never really wanted to go and do stuff I just stayed home and did my stuff and that, I guess that count that that went on to, to feed into my depression a little bit but um, I started to use that to my advantage 
and I use a lot of my introvertedness. Whenever I don't want to go out, I stay home and I record. I stay home and I edit videos or I stay home and I learn and I understand certain things about YouTube. And um, however though, over the past couple of months, especially with this YouTube stuff, I have began to start um, getting rid of my shyness and going out there and networking with people, talking to other people. And um, that's part of being this kind of thing. I use YouTube as well to get me out of that kind of shell. I would much rather prefer, to, I would rather stay home and record and do stuff and make my money. But at the same time, sometimes you need to get out and sometimes you need to get stuff done. So um, yeah, me being on YouTube and stuff has really helped with my introvertedness and being shy outside. Um, before I never used to really like talking to girls I, and, and like I was too shy to do it. But now it's a completely different thing. I can go ahead and can be confident about it. This has really brought my confidence, especially with cadets and stuff. I have really brought up my confidence a, a lot and it has helped with me being an introvert, etc. So yeah, I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna go out and party, but I'll go out with you, go to the movies, I'll talk and, and speak to people and be very comfortable doing it. Um, I did not leave um, NGRP um, and I much rather don't go into the details about it but just so we can put it to rest and everybody will know um, I spent a lot of time in that community and I spent and I did a lot of work I probably spent maybe uh, I would say 50 to 70 hours maybe in a week maybe on that community and getting on and doing RP and stuff with them not only just RP but but training and everything and let's just say the leaders did not appreciate that I was gaining a lot more respect and a lot more pull in the community than they did and as soon as I messed up I'm not gonna lie I made a couple of mistakes and I said things that I shouldn't have said um, but um, as soon as they found the opportunity to get rid of me they did and unfortunately for them that was a bad decision where majority of their community left and now they're not a community anymore um, that inspired me to be different and to create DVRP as something different. The first mistake that they did that I wanted to, to correct was to have a good support system behind me. So that's why I have Bradley, that's why I have Jim, that's why I have Micah, Garrett, I have um, Ryan, Tyler, I have Dakota, I have all of Yousef, I have all of these admins around me and I have these staff members around me who keep the community running and they 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 understand certain stuff and what the vision is and they share the vision from my community and how i want it to go and these guys these guys i couldn't have done it with a lot of these guys and these guys really helped me go forward and helped me make the vrp be the best one of the best community server, servers out there 5m communities etc whatever you want to call it um they helped me continue and the VRP is not in its final form yet. The VRP still has a long way to go. It has a lot of growth to go, but I think that we're in a very good place as being one of the well-ran servers. And it's not only just because of the staff, but because of the members too. The members come in, they, they follow the rules. They understand certain stuff about the community and they continue. And I want to just give a big shout out to all of these guys who decided to come in, make contributions to the community and to the server. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, YouTube is really my first choice in, in a career. However, um, if I was not doing YouTube, I would probably be either a teacher, I would have gone into the Defense Force here in Barbados. Um, I just found a knack for teaching and for helping other persons, especially when I was in cadets. I was the um, sergeant major in charge of all of the other sergeant majors and basically in charge of training. I trained the new recruits coming into the, into the, um, to the cadet corps and, and I did that for about two years or so and I had a very good talent for teaching persons and getting persons even if they may not have been as fast as others or to pick up the, the concepts as fast as others, I had a knack for teaching them and for helping them to understand. I also, that's where I also gained a lot of my patience. And that's where I think that if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would either have uh, my own business, I would be a teacher, or um, I would have been in the armed forces here in Barbados. Hmm. Well, I haven't really 
thought of doing collabs with other YouTubers. As most of you guys know, I already collabed with Steve and Diamond, Diamond uh, TKG. I stream with them often, I do videos with them often, and um, Steve has really been, he has really helped me get to the point where I need to, where I need to be and helped me get to this point. So a big shout out to Steve. But um, outside of Steve and Diamond, I would probably like to do a collab with JS Two Cents. He is a big YouTuber over in California. Um, when I was learning how to build my PC, I watched his. I watched like, I would say over two or three hundred of his videos. Um, just, just general stuff that I was enjoying and I enjoyed his content and I would like to do one of his crazy I would not say crazy but one of his custom PC builds not only for myself but maybe for a subscriber um, later down the line maybe that's something that we can do in a year or two but um, that's one guy that I would really like to do a video with and do some sort of a PC build with him and um, you know, I don't know. Be, I, I think that would be a really good undertaking that I would like to have. So Jay's two cents, definitely for sure him. Um, subscribers, I would like to say, firstly, I wanna say thank you guys for being here and for, for believing in me and for subscribing, for liking, the com for liking and commenting and, and just talking to me on stream. Like, I, I never would have thought that I would have gone this far and it's only up to y'all it's only because you decided to come in and watch my streams every day or watch my videos every day and and really like the content that you know i really want to thank you guys but i also want to leave you guys with something and say go remember to go after all your goals and your dreams i say this every time i stream i say this almost every video um go after all you guys goals and your dreams you guys got this you guys got a lot of potential that you can do and you can can offer a lot into this world especially the young men and i want you guys to keep moving forward remember this quote it's a quote from an anime character from attack on titan aaron yeager he says keep moving forward uh, i will not say the last part because the last part is a little bit um you know a little bit dark but just keep moving forward no matter what happens no matter how bad things turn out to be just keep going and keep going and keep going you guys got this and you guys can do it so that's just my words of encouragement for you guys to just continue doing what you got to do well well the first thing that um that i would say is look start looking out for more vlogs from me I have a plan in place for me to get something for, you know, for me to do post regular vlogs, maybe every Sunday, so you guys can look out for that. Um, and I'm gonna have videos and stuff up for you guys soon. So just be on the lookout for those, but we're gonna continue with the GTA 5, um, 5M stuff. I might play a little from some other games here or there. I wanna start diversifying my content and diversifying my channel. Um, you guys can definitely see GTA 6 whenever that comes out, even if it comes out in 2050, I'll be definitely doing that game. And if there is a 5M or a 6M or whatever it is for, for GTA 6, I'll definitely be doing that as well. And we'll probably, and hopefully DVRP will still be alive then and we'll do um, that for DVRP as well. Um, just shout outs to my cousin here who's giving me these questions and Kobe who's shooting this entire thing. Um, you guys can find their links in the description down below. You can go and follow them. If you want any sort of um, photo shoot, video shoot, anything from Kobe, you guys will have his information down there. Make sure you go and uh, hit him up and you know, he has pretty fair prices so you guys can go ahead and get that done. Um, but other than that, I would say thank you to Steve and Diamond for coming into the community and basically being friends with me and Steve for being my mentor and being and and really educating me a lot of stuff that I didn't know before um, thank you guys for all the people in the community all of the admins Jim Bradley um, Dakota everybody who has really put effort into the community and put a lot of work into making it the way it is and keeping it going forward you know like this community couldn't have been that part without you guys the members without you guys the staff without you guys the fans and I would like to say thank you to all of you subscribers for subscribing you've gotten me to this point where I'm at 10k it's been a great journey and we will continue to grow and we'll continue to get up there and um, yeah that's really what I want to say and keep going forward everybody so thank you guys again and uh, yeah